felt overwhelming disappointment with myself and anger at my own weaknesses. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. On my first day with class seven, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. But getting to know you two showed me that there are nobles who live up to that name. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a life for those who'll come after. So brilliant was my time at the Academy that those feelings consumed my every thought, my every waking moment. The time I spent with my classmates was something that, in so many ways, changed me. From the strict yet kind instructors who diligently taught us, to the people we met as we traveled across the country, The time spent with them, my memories of them, were like a truly radiant light. And somewhere, a part of me thought that radiance would continue shining for ages to come. But all it took was a single bullet to bring everything crashing down. Go finish your speech in hell. That bullet sparked a fire which grew and grew before our eyes, evolving into a great flame that smothered our light in an instant. <sighs> well played, Arnbrust. There were no exceptions, be it those seemingly never-ending days or anything else I'd come to treasure. Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! Everything was reduced to ash. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time. He isn't real. He never was. Back then, I still didn't understand. I didn't know the pure bliss that comes from being with others, nor did I know the ache that comes from parting with them. I didn't understand what it meant to truly love someone. All I could do was endure the torment of my own sense of powerlessness and bottle up the feelings I could do nothing about. All while trying desperately to fight against that ever-burning flame. Not. 
So you've finally woken up. And I wish it were, but this is no dream. This is reality. And you're going to need to hurry up and accept that because his core's been damaged, which means he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So you're going to need to protect yourself. Wait. What's going on here anyway? What is that thing? Wait, never mind that. What are you? Ugh, knock it off. How am I supposed to answer anything when you keep bombarding me with questions? You're a chosen one. Chosen by a fragment of the ancient great power. Great? That's right. Those fragments were the origin of the great. At times, they protected people from harm and disaster. While at other, and the being in front of you is one of them. A divine knight. N the Ashen Knight? Valmar. Wait. I remember. You got it. You've known that name for a while by now. He's not the only Divine Knight that's active. The Noble Faction, that one is known as the Azure Knight, or Dean. Remember? Why? Why did it come to this? Why did everyone... crawl? He had me fool. How could I have known that irresponsible playboy was the Ash? He's obviously had plenty of experience pilot. Hey, get up! You can hear me, right? Take me back to Trista. You're wasting your time. His core was heavily damaged in the battle with the Ash, and despite that, he strained him even when he was barely hanging on. He prioritized. Damn it! Hmm. This must be somewhere in the Isengard range. Huh. I'm surprised you were able to work. I guess that's what happens when you're raised in the mountain. Hey! Where are you going? Gotta be around here somewhere. I can sense monsters nearby too. I'm gonna need to be careful. If I keep going this way, They're out in the open. <gasps> hey, are you mad at me or something? Why would I be? You only completely disregarded and overruled my decision. <sighs> what else was I supposed to do? If we hadn't flown away when we did, he'd be dead. We probably would have lost Valimar, too. Forget it. Right now, I want to focus on finding the others. If I keep going this way, I should end up on the highway at Sorry, but that's a huge waste of time. It's been over a month since all of that stuff happened back. A month? There's no way it's been that long! <sighs> oh sure, don't believe me. Like I said, you completely exhausted yourself during your first synchronization, and I do mean completely. What? It's a miracle you're able to walk around like this a mere month later. He used what little mana he had left to heal you, and just so you know, been here this whole time, so I really don't think I deserve all of this animosity. I... This can't be. It's been a whole month since what happened here, but then... 
I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you. Just what are you anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat. Oopsie. <laughs> totally forgot about that, did I'm what you'd call a familiar. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? Well, you know what they say. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. Oh, I've got no real reason to doubt you. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? She's still a novice, but she is a witch. Yes, my job's more to keep an eye on her though. I did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than but her being a witch? It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it... Hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. Been here before. Master Kafai brought me here. That's the name of your former instructor. Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. His full name's Master Yoon Kafai. Man, when was the last time I came here? In fact, if I remember right. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Want to head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information. What was that? It feels like it's coming closer! It couldn't... It's a magic knight! You know what that thing is? They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages. Damn it! What's one doing here? Out of here. You don't stand a chance against it. Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. You idiot! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting unbelievable. Bring it on! Barely putting a dent into it. Ugh. We're so close to you near too. I told you this would happen. Get back! <laughs> I can't lose, not without seeing everyone again. Lisa. Not today, buddy! Uh, are those arcs? Yeah, where? See you later. Cross Crusade! Whew. 
made it without a second to spare. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness? And Tovo? And... Rain, stay right there! Please, tell me you're all right. You look so exhausted. Who's she? Please? I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come. Rain, there's no need to speak right now. We'll take you back to Ymir... I'm just so glad. But how did you know? As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power?